Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams again, and today what I'm going to do is show you how to use the permutation function in Excel um, with this example. We have 15 dogs competing in a dog show. We want to see how many different ways could we award first, second, and third place to the dogs who are competing. So when we look at this, we know it's a permutation because I have a specific order, first, second, and third. So I'm going to take the number that I have, which is 15, and I'm going to position or place a required number, which in this case is going to be three, first, second, and third place. So if I was looking at it from the formula standpoint, it would be 15 and place three into a position. And so we would work that out with factorals, but instead we're going to do it in Excel. So I'm going to go into an empty cell and I'm going to type equals P-E-R-M-U-T. And you'll see that the permutation function appears and it's telling you it's going to return the number of permutations for a given number of objects, which is um, R, which can be selected from the total number of objects, which is N. And so if I double click on that, first thing it's going to want is it's going to want the number. And the number, remember, is the number we have to choose from, which is 15. And then we have to separate it with a comma. You'll see now highlighted number chosen. I have three places, so that's going to be three is the number I'm going to choose. I'm going to close my parentheses. I'm going to hit enter. And Excel is going to tell me that there are 2,730 different ways I can award first, second, and third place if there are 15 dogs competing in the dog show. So one more time, remember it's equals P-E-R-M-U-T, and then remember our formula is N pick R, so N 15 comma R, or the number required, the number chosen, three, close your parentheses, hit enter, and it works all day long. Hope you guys have an awesome day.